and welcome to Emma's ESL English. This week we are talking about travel English. I think there are two totally different circumstances where you might need English when you travel. So I've broken those two up into two different episodes. So today we'll be covering traveling in an English speaking nation, such as America, the UK, South Africa, Australia, or New Zealand. Tomorrow, we'll be covering traveling to everywhere else. <laughs> of course, there is a third set of countries. Places like Singapore or Hong Kong have a great deal of English spoken. It is one of the common languages in many of these kind of places. But I would suggest that these are half and half. You may meet a native English speaker, which would be like today's situations, but you may just as likely meet an international speaker, which would be like tomorrow's situations. <laughs> okay, you're traveling to a country where English is the national language or one of the most commonly spoken languages. After speaking to many, many, many international speakers of English who talk with native speakers at work, this seems a little more challenging for many. And I'll let you in on a little secret. It's not the international speakers who are the problem. <laughs> the challenge is that many native speakers only learned a second language at school and they've often forgotten it or never used it. So they really don't know how to help you. They don't really understand how challenging it is to listen and speak and learn a foreign language. And often they don't have much patience. This can make international speakers feel rushed under pressure and uncomfortable, often increasing their nervousness and anxiety and making their English harder to reach. So what to do? Firstly, prepare for your trip. Think about where you're going and what you're doing and what kind of English might be useful on your trip. Think about different scenarios you can expect. Practice using those phrases every day while you're at home, just during your day. How much is it? Can you tell me where the museum is? Do you know where the nearest station is? Secondly, consider buying a small travel English phrase book. In fact, you may never use it, which would be great, <laughs> but simply having it with you and being able to flip through it when you're bored will give you more confidence and comfort knowing that you have a backup if you forget something. The next thing is don't be afraid to ask for what you need. As I mentioned, many native English speakers don't have your language learning experience. They don't really know how to help you. It's very likely that when they see you don't understand them, they will just repeat themselves more loudly, which is not very helpful. <laughs> so it's totally okay for you to say, please slow down. I'm not promising that it will work, <laughs> but hopefully, it will help them to help you. Maybe consider signing up for English classes for three months before you go. Cambly has several courses that specifically teach and practice travel English. Tell your teacher that you're going on holiday and work together to get prepared and build your confidence. In addition, find some time to listen to podcasts from the country you're traveling to. You don't even really need to understand that much that you're listening to. The main goal is to get your brain and your ears 
used to the accent, used to how English sounds in that accent. That will make it much easier for you to understand the native speakers when you get there. For the same reason, finding an English teacher from the country you're traveling to can be a great way to help yourself too. Finally, make the most of the opportunity. It's really easy, surprisingly easy, to go to a foreign country and speak to almost nobody, <laughs> especially in these days of TripAdvisor and Google Maps. But if you're learning English and traveling to an English-speaking country, then look for excuses to speak English. Try to chat to your waiter. Stop and ask questions to the staff at museums. Ask people to take your picture and then ask them where is their favorite spot in the city or what should you make sure to do in the city. Strike up a conversation with a taxi driver. They love to chat. Sit at the bar in a pub and chat to the bartender. If you go all that way, and then don't talk to anyone, you'll be so angry with yourself when you come home. <laughs> so go out and talk to people and make the most of your holiday. See you tomorrow. Bye.